Hello, glue troopers and everybody. This is Frankie Day from Frankie Day Models. Okay, guys, this is mail call today. I woke up this morning. It's my second day off today. And uh, I got this morning. I thought there was a big thump on the porch this morning. I got out. I got up about, about 9 o'clock this morning. I got up late. I was up all night long. And I got up and had a cup of coffee and I remember that big bang I heard on the porch this morning. Well, to my surprise, I finally got my parcel I sent away from China, from eBay. I'll never do that again. I was kind of skittish at first. I sent away for this in August. It's now got here today. Without further ado, this is the 118 scale Merit I Love Comforter Kit. I don't know. It's all Oriental Brother Kit. It's a uh, it's Merit Kit, I believe it is. Uh, the SPD Dot was 118 scale. Now, Alex Molling did one of these. He did a build. He did a very wonderful job on his build of the kit. Also comes the decals right here, and, and uh, we're gonna go through the kit. We're gonna make an inbox review of the contents of this kit. And uh, when it came to the porch, I go, "What the hell is that?" I didn't sit away from nothing. Then I got to think. Wait a minute. Hold the phone, Frankie. I got to think. Wait, wait a second. Now this is. Well, I'll try to light up or I need that light anyway. I said that that dot was I sent away for. Yeah, that's got to be it, and it was. Man, the box was beat to hell. This thing has been sitting in transit after transit, shipped from here, there, everywhere in China. If this boss could talk, he could tell me where it's been. And it's been through the mill. I don't care the condition of the box, just as long as the parts, the contents are. 100% A-OK -okay and they are. I made an inspection on the kit. I'm very pleased with it. Okay. Excuse my bohemian style of drinking. Soda pop out of a jug instead of a glass. Like most civilized people do. But I don't like washing a glass. <laughs> Everybody does it. Except the guy next door. <laughs> Oh, I put it over here. I like root beer. I love root beer. Okay. We're not going to take these out of the baggies, guys. There's a lot of stuff in here. Right here. There's a fuselage right here. There's no detail inside the fuselage. That's because that's, uh, I believe all the detail that comes in is, is a copy of selling itself. We'll get to that. On this boat here, you got a, I know nothing of this kit, guys. First thing I had is we get the fuselage half here. I like to get the center die brake here. And this is your rudder right here. And this right here, it looks like it could be inside of a wing root right here. This little part right here. Right there. This here looks like it could be the door back here for the gun. Your gun cover. Now, 20th Century Toys, they got one of these complete. All you gotta do is pop the wing on, that's it. I think it was built from that. I think that. Uh, that kit was made from this kit here. Keep the price down and make a kit out of it. Now this food here contains almost the same thing except has another <laughs> cover, gun cover right here. And these are probably here, probably spars or or wells. 
So right here is like landing gear covers for the undercarriage. Yeah, they are. These are interior details right here. <coughs> More stuff coming. Oh, yeah. No wonder we'll go detail the walls there. Here's the interiors right here. You see all that nice interior in that thing. Here's your firewall. It's like more of the firewall here. That's your flight deck. Your, your, uh, your cockpit interior right there goes. Here's your side walls here. Here's your flooring. It's like your wheel hubs for your landing gear. Yeah, they are. And this broker takes a lot of parts, probably for the interior parts. That's exactly what they are. In fact, it's those baggies through right here. It's like you got out of wing shackles for your 500, for your 100 pound bombs that they had a, out there. And also, it looks like right here is your joystick. So you fend for your bombs, trim tab wheels. There's your flare pistol right there, bottle controls, quadrant. This looks like your uh, your, your 30 caliber machine gun aft, your, your observ observators, observ observ uh, radio operator, I should say. That's his gun aft. In fact, here, right here, it probably fits radio department too. Escape candles. Uh, Emergency excess panels like life bath lockers and stuff. Oxygen bottles. Well, I'll tell you stuff. Continuation of the same. Looks like I got your thousand pound bomb right there. More of your engine assembly here. There's a yoke for your thousand pound bomb, your trapeze. These are like the top of your cylinder heads right here on the engines. On the right cyclones, they are. Engine parts. Trim tabs. ARE antennae. Exhaust axe. This here fits flush underneath your center wing where your bomb fits at. Yeah, that's what that is. That's my guess, guys. I don't think I will. I'm just guessing the parts they look like to me. The spoon contains your elevator, top and bottom halves, and plus your dive brakes. Here's your starboard top wing panel half. Ooh, a lot of stuff here. There's your starboard. Your port uh, wing top half. Here's your right cyclone engine, the firewall, the manifold, also your push rods. All that in that room. So, a motor this size, you really can really detail that bad boy out. You really can. A uh, 18 scale, you can knock yourself out with that thing. Detail wise, that is. <laughs> the whole kit. Ah, uh, here's your exhaust manifolds. And also your firewall, also your motor mounts too at the bottom, as you can see right here. Here's your, man, here's your manifolds for your exhaust manifolds. 
And you like part of the engines, like to me, engine parts, assemblies, it's like to me. All the kernel parts. Okay, it's your stabilizer, and also your control instrument panels. With a good pen bias I got right here, you can drill holes in that on that instrument panels and put a little press tape back there and use them uh, the decal patient on on there. You can be able to give it a little three D uh, gauges. Here's your pilot seat here. Hey Lord, boy, this thing's loaded. What the hey? This is the whole thing. Here's your stabilizer tops. Top and bottom joined together all one piece. No fooling. Look. See? Wonderful. Thank you, uh, Merit. Okay. I believe all this is your, is your undercarriage. The landing gear legs right here. Jolios. And the way all the rest of this stuff here goes for your 30 caliber machine gun and also your wrestling book. <laughs> wow, it's even got the DDI there too. <laughs> well, I like that. Okay, here's your Hamilton Standard Pitch Prop, Early Prop. That'd be your uh, SBD Free Prop. Almost like toothpick shapes, they're the paddle blades that did it. Here's the early spanner that it had. The kit may give you an option of another blade. I don't know, we'll find out. Here's the cow. There it is, boys. Man. That's big as an ashtray right there. Okay. Now, in the bottom of the box here, contains the good stuff. Now, I'm only surmising. I think this is all your clear parts, because I don't see none of you here for the kit. Yes, it is. Clear parts and real rubber tires. Clear parts inside that little foamy uh, wrap right here. I can feel them. They're there. I like the way it's packaged. This thing sure been to the ringer, being all these chances it's been through. Oh, I know what this is. This, my friend, has got to be the wing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Things like about 30 inches in it. Let's think about the size of my Gwebbles Dotless. Twenty-seven and a half inches. About well, twenty-seven and five sixteen inches long. Big enough. Real big. Boy, this thing was manhandled during shipping. It's a wonder this stuff thing could bust it up. I would really be pissed off. Because that thing was really got squished up like it did. Okay, we'll get the instructions. We'll put all the stuff back in here where it belongs. That way, it was all there. Okay. Boy, I'm going to have a blast with this thing. This thing is already talking to me already. I've got piles and piles of models I'm starting. i got to get them finished because I don't want them to get broken. That other stuff back in here.
Yeah. Man, I had a blast, guys. What a way to wake up with, with a 118 scale dotless laying on your porch out there for you to get, to get a cup of coffee in your hand. Man, that could have happened to me in a million years. In a million years, that could not happen to me. Because it happens to everybody once in a lifetime, they say. Okay, here's the big old. What was that? Oh, more stuff came out of there. Here's the last sprue, guys. The final sprue. There's more assembly for you, 30 caliber guns. Fits half where the radio operator's at. He's gonna listen, man. Here's a decal sheet right here. Real nice decals, big. They could be the Battle of Midway and also the earlier Dotless they used also. It's by the Enterprise right here, I think. You can have the Midway Dotless or you can have the one from the Enterprise. That too was in, the, was in the midway they could use. They, right after 1942, right after they got rid of the East. So this got to be an earlier Dotless. It is. I don't mix his decal. I don't know if they or what. I don't think they record yet, but it's their own decals. They're good. Wow, it's got propeller things. Oh, you beautiful. You even got the uh, the prop tip uh, decals. Oh, that makes life so sweet. Here's the instruction manual. It's 51 degrees out there, man. It's the warmest day we had in about 10 days. I get paid twice. I get paid tomorrow on my job. I got my retirement check coming in for Miller Valentine, plus I got my naval pension check coming in. I also got my bricklayer's uh, pension coming in, too. So it'll be okay. I'll save a lot of money in the bank. I want to move out of this place here. Get my ho house, you know, and I'm going to buy all kinds of shop material and everything. I, I'm, I don't know, go out this world in style. Okay. Here's the instructions to give you. I've never opened them yet. I'll have a clue what they look Oh, yeah. For starters, we'll take a look at this. This is the 4 from the USS Independence. Looks like intermediate blue with maybe dark sea blue on top. I don't know. Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it's inter intermediate blue and then be blue on top. That's got to be like a almost like a dark. I've never heard that way of blue before. I did 43, it was three tone. It was X dark sea blue. That's what it is. I don't trust the instructions of these things. Everybody knows that. <coughs> That's bothers though, that stuff. Here's one. It's on the box top. 
this came from Alexa and I was wrong. I thought it was from the Enterprise. 1942. What's for the Battle of Midway? They were all enemy at sea blue. Blue gray color. Very early 1942 in May. Tell me guys which one which one you want me to model. This one? Or this one. Very cool markings. Uh, the paints used is Mr. Color. Gunzo Samuel, Mr. Mr. Color used. Then for the color schedule up here. Don't they give you a, a Humbro? Oh, they don't. Yes, they do. It's all Mr. Color, all Mr. Hobby, Mr. Hobby Colors, and Ben Sanger Colors. I like that mission model stuff, it's good stuff. A gray here, I think it is. That's a little bit of blank. You're getting colorblind, buddy. You're getting colorblind. What is this here? That's your gray. I find your mug. There it is right here. Oh, that's that. Instructions. Okay. Okay, Blue Troopers. I got something for you here. In the beginning, I'm going to start using that camera right there, my camcorder. I'm getting lazy here. Here is the uh, parts. The parts list, the parts right here, all the call outs, the parts, in case you get stumped. They're so big, you, you, you only a blind man can miss these. But it's always good to go back for reference. Here's the decal, over here, decal sheets, everything, the glass bars, all these parts. They're all here. Okay, those are your parts the list. Start down on one, they want you to construct the 30 caliber machine gun. But you can see. So over here, it looks like the pilot's compartment there and uh, the pilot compartment and also the rear buggy seat they used on the uh, radio operator. That goes all the way up to step one. Two. Three is all the detail parts you're going to put on the floorboard. As you can see here, there's oodles of it, lots of it. So get yourself some flat black paint, paint the whole thing black, get some get some dark, uh, get some uh, either zinc, uh, uh, I think you used what, light zinc, or 1942. They didn't use interior green, they used zinc chromate, yeah. Yellow chromate, used yellow chromate. And everybody on there will give you a little used look and everything. It looks nice. These all, as you can tell right here, is all your interior views, your side walls, where all your you know, control panels at, electrical panels, best uses, and everything and such. Where the throttle cartridges go at, butter panels, you name it. Looks like it's buttoned up and they're on the fuselage, looks like to me. No, no. Is it? Well, I, no, it isn't. It shows you where it's all put together. Okay. Now we're going to get to the fun part. All the sub assemblies like the engines. And the propeller. It'll give you another Hamilton standard prop. 
That probably is Hamilton right there, Hamilton Standard. But it'll give you the, it's too much like a toothbrush. If this is an earlier model, that's what they used at the time. And by 1943, they changed it, uh, the prop to its around the blade. That's the construction of the engine parts. That'd be on step uh, all the way from five to number six. Probably more coming up. Yes, there is. There's seven step up to seven. Step seven ends up with your with the assembly of your your right slide clone, 1400 horsepower motor. And button up a fuselage with the side walls, interiors involved too. Probably the rester hook and the yellow baiters, everything goes together. That'd be on step eight right there. Now, after that, step nine is uh, the other wing section with dive brakes, nail runs, your twin 30 calibers to do the cowling. It's not confusing at all with the construction of the parts, guys. It really isn't. With a big model like this, it makes parts very easy to identify without going back to the parts box, to the uh, parts list. And there's no, actually, there's no uh, confusion of the, where the parts go at. Okay, step 11 is it? Yeah. Yeah, step 10. Looks like your undercarriage goes in there. Am I missing something here with the undercarriage? I don't think I came up to it. Yeah. On the center wing there it has the undercarriage. You got an axle that screws on the top of the leg right there and it fits in the saddles inside there. Because they are retractable. Step 11. You see those little interior parts that showed in? Those are inside your flap wells inside there. And also up step 12 is your... Your center section goes to your bomb well. If it's the center wing. It looks like the center wing is joined to the fuselage. Looks like it pretty much completes the model with the exception of your your bombs and canopy. Now the canopy is exactly in four sections. They too are made the slide. That's it. On my lecture, working my lecture last night, I'm starting to get those, uh, see them? Little pull cases right there. I gotta put them on there on the other side. Put my ACC for the windows in there. Glue in there, but a few sides. I have a video of that night coming up, so stay posted for that. Okay, guys, that's about it from Elko inbox view for the uh Merit I Love kit of the uh 118 scale SVD uh, Douglas Dive Bomber Dotless, the Sugar Baker Douglas, they used to call it slowly but deadly. It sure was a beautiful sight to see this thing in the morning. Woke up with a cup of coffee, hand open up the porch. And there it was, waiting for me. So, today is Good Tuesday for me. I forgot all about this. I, when I see it sitting on the porch, I said, I got nothing coming in. I didn't buy nothing other than the decals. My decals don't come in yet. I guess the mail hasn't ran yet. 
They must have came with a FedEx truck or something, some ground mail truck, I don't know. But I sent away for this in August. And they probably all wonder how much it pays for it. I think I paid $150, $54 for it. $8 shipping, so I get what I deserve. But I want, I ain't gonna go cheap no more. This thing has been in China for about two or three months, sitting in transit after transit after transit after transit after transit. And they move it a little bit here and there, and it's okay. We're on a container ship now or an airplane. We'll fly it all the way to either San Francisco or New York somewhere. And it lays in transit forever, 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 forever. And they say, Where's this go to? Oh, this goes to Lebanon, Ohio. Okay, we'll send it there. I'm glad I got it because I was about ready to get a, send them a mail. Say, hey, where's my parcel? So, folks, don't go cheap. Always go high dollar. Service will be a lot better and be a lot quicker. Go cheap. This is what happens. But I'm very happy, as you've seen and witnessed, the kit's 100% up to snuff. It's good. No damage done. I'm happy. I don't care the box is like. I'll throw that thing away anyway. But the box still works. It may be crushed up and dented. I was dead to shit. It's been handled, flowed, you name it. But inside, it's excellent. I'm so happy. We had no complaints. Okay, this is the conclusion of a uh, surprise video of the day. I'll pop my videos now. <laughs> I'm getting me like old Doug Hensley and Charlie Mack start getting posted every day. Uh, maybe I'll start doing that. So that's the conclusion of the inbox view of mail call. And uh, so, again, I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my viewers, for sharing this video with me, reviewing this video with me, as I shared it to you all. And y'all probably wondering when are you going to start working on this thing? I might start working on it tonight. Boy, would that be a good a live action. I may just do that. I got Glowmaster over here behind me. I did some little sanding on it last night. So I got a little more sanding to on it. And uh, when I get my check tomorrow, I'll go down and get me some primer paint. All right now, I'm waiting for primer. I'm not, a, I'm not a primer material, so I got to have some more primer. And uh, we got a lot of things going on. Let's be done. Uh, it won't take long to get the electric down. Oh, that it's all together now. All I gotta do is get those seats all the passengers' seats all completed and uh, put the oxygen mass and, and luggage compartments installed and put the few slides and she's done. I'll get those decals. I have a video of that too with the decals. They should be in by the day. I know they'd be here, it's just like I just got here today. Uh, boy, what a way to wake up, huh? Wake up with a 118 scale of SPD Dauntless on your porch with a cup of coffee and your right flipper. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you this. This is a card cast in the way for it. It finally came in. This came all the way from Germany. This is a scourge of the Atlantic. This is a folk uh, with a 1200 Condor, FW200 Condor. As a great length, uh, Winston Churchill dubbed her as the Scourge of the Atlantic. This thing is a colossal airplane. Wingspan is about 35 inches. This 133 scale. A very nice model put together. Huge. But I'm going to build that. Don't have a clue. Don't know. Whatever something sparks my notion to do it, I'll go ahead and start building the Scourge. I went through it page to page. It looks like it's pretty fast for some kid to build. Okay, that's about it, guys. Uh, make mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Spend wisely. Stay focused when you drive. Spend wisely and uh, get yourself a kit. 
and sit down and be with me enjoy this review and boast up a model get some cup of coffee or beer shot of whiskey or schnapps wherever there is and enjoy yourself that's what he's made for to enjoy boy am i enjoying myself man am i enjoying myself all these models I got, I know dang well I'll never live long enough to build them all, but at least I got them all and I'll build them. I'll try to. Do my best. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. This is Fake Day for Fake Day Model signing off. Say your prayers. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. It'll be the Lucky Electra. And guess what? I might, might do a live action job on this tonight. You never know what I'll do. But anyway, you know how it goes. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I'm, I'm having fun. Anyway, you guys take care of yourselves, fellas. Stay tuned for the next video. That should be coming up your way pretty soon. So stay posted on that. Again, thank you all, my subscribers and viewers. I'm very delighted and very honored, each one of you, for your wonderful candor and comments and, and your views. Make me happy. I'm smiling. You smile, too. Smile. Have a good day. And uh, God bless you all. Love you, fellas. And say your prayers. And take care of your babies and your woman. This is Figure Day for Figure Day model signing off. We'll catch you next video, boys.